All right, what we got here is a uh, my own design, hand built, handmade crystal radio. I made this wooden box here. It's about seven inches by seven inches square, and I've got all the controls and the input for the uh, speaker right here. And um, this is all hand built. A uh, quick background on myself: I've been tinkering with electronics since the middle 70s and I am a certified electronic technician and I, I was vacuum tube trained uh, discrete component con uh, trained in the early very early 80s late 70s and uh, I worked as an IBM trained technician for over 30 years so I've got a and I was fully trained on vacuum tubes so I go back to beginning of uh, electronic theory transistor train. I know more about old components than I do new, but I did work on IBM computers for over 30 years. I still kind of work on them a little bit and I decided to make decided to make a crystal radio. This is uh, all hand built, hand cut wood and it, the schematic and design are of my own design. Um, I built the circuit inside. Now what this is, this is a normal crystal radio that you'd think was a normal crystal radio. I hand wound the coil and I'll, at the end of this video I'll show you the back. Um, I'll show you inside but the coil was hand wound, all the circuit everything was uh, made made by myself. I used all germanium components. Um, germanium is what you want because it breaks the PN junction at 0.3 volts or less whereas silicon is 0.7 and you're working with very low voltages here low very low voltages so you want germanium so this is all high high quality parts in here and again I hand wound the coil because you need a coil alright so you've got a crystal radio and I'm going to um, turn it on now the first thing you want to do is you want to hook up a ground and an antenna okay now this is the back You've got to have a high quality ground and a high quality antenna. Now what is an antenna? Basically a long, long as you can piece of wire. That's all you need. So um, watch out for power lines. Don't go anywhere near any power lines. All right? I don't want anybody hurting themselves. But all you need is a long piece of wire. Outside is best. If you could run a long piece of wire outside somewhere, that would be best. If not, run it in your house. Just, just run it high as you can on the wall hang it between a couple of uh, pictures or whatever but you want as long a wire as possible and you hook it up right here. Now I've got a wing nut and, and two washers so just loosen the wing nut put the wire in between the washers and tighten it up. Wing nut, very simple. So that's your antenna, okay? Now this is a crystal radio and you have to have a good antenna and a good ground or it's not going to work simple as that so you've got to have a good antenna which means a very long wire long as you possibly can okay then a ground a good ground the best ground is a pipe or a piece of rod pounded in the ground again be careful don't go pounding rods or pipes in the ground there could be utilities there could be under underground wires or power be careful when you do this but that is the best ground if you've got some kind of uh, rod pounded right in the ground, run a wire from that to this point here obviously. Um, or more conveniently a cold water pipe in your house, run a wire from your cold water pipe that should be good enough ground. And then you put it again in between these two uh, washers, tighten up the wing nut, it's all nice and solid, it's very clearly marked antenna and ground. Okay. Now I turn this thing back around, Okay. Now here's the front. Um, a lot of times with a with a crystal radio you've got a coil and uh, the coil has a wiper and the wiper uh, wipes on the coil and changes the frequency and that's how you tune it. Well I didn't like that design I decided to design something on my own so what I made these points right here we've got six different um, contact points and again there's no power so don't worry you're not going to get yourself hurt. Um, but you basically move this magnet in between these two points here and that's how you tune it instead of moving a wiper or whatever so um, 
that's how you do it so you, to tune it you just move this magnet in between the points now as you can see here we've got crystal radio I'm gonna prop this up just a little bit and make it a little easier to see crystal radio up these two points here and then add an amp move it down to here so what I did is I also designed an amplifier because a lot of it's a crystal radio so you're gonna get a very faint sound it's you're gonna barely hear it that's how a crystal radio works that's just how it is um, if you have a close also you're gonna need a close AM radio station if you don't have a close AM radio station to your house where you live it's not gonna work um, you need an AM radio station somewhat close to your house and most people have one or two or three so it's not a problem I get about four here uh, it works better at night AM radios work better at night so uh, um, depending on where you live of course uh, uh, you know so I added an amplifier of my own design and I did that just in case you got a super weak signal now you're thinking to yourself well it's an amplifier you know power no you don't need power because I put I added a solar cell on the top just keep the solar cell on the Sun or put it under a brighter light when you're not using it and it'll charge there's a battery in here and it'll charge the battery and then you can use the amplifier now again if the battery goes weak or whatever don't worry because your crystal radio will always work the crystal radio will always work without power no matter what as long as this is up here then you've got just the plain crystal radio in operation now if you move this down here then you've got the amplifier now over here I also designed two stage my amplifier two stage a low and a high so if the signal is really super if the signal is pretty strong you can just leave it on low if it's not if it's weak you can put it on high and then you'll get a higher amplification but if your signals high already then it'll just it'll distort so you want to just play around with it between high and low with the amplifier on and again if you put it back here when, when it's in this position it's a normal crystal radio just like all the crystal radios since the 1920s and again this this tunes it up here okay now you this is the hole where uh, you put the um, I can't really see this is the hole where you put the earbuds so I'm going to include earbuds now earbuds you can get them anywhere you already have probably five sets sitting around the house but I'm going to include these these are earbuds it's a standard earbud plug okay so all you do is take your earbud plug plug it in plugs right in okay nice and solid don't worry about that so we've got our earbud plug headset or uh, um, headphones plugged in here they are now if you decide to use your own headphones you can these are 32 ohm impedance higher impedance are better so if you if you put in a high impedance set of headphones in here instead all you have to do is just get yourself a, a jack this size or cut one off an old earbuds and hook it up to the old-fashioned high impedance headphones this will be louder yet the higher impedance the better so you plug that in you've got your earphones now right now this is this is crystal radio it should be working now, I'm gonna hold this up to the antennas hooked up the grounds hooked up I got a good ground a good antenna I'm going to hold this up to the speaker here, or to the microphone, I should say, and you should be able to hear it. Now, I'm going to put the microphones in the back of this. I'm going to try to find it here. It's up here in this corner. So, I'm going to hold this right up by the microphone. Hopefully, you can hear it. Now, I'm going to tune it. I'm going to tune this and change the station. Right, so hopefully you're hearing this I have no idea I'm gonna to have to play it back because I to see if this actually worked for you or not but what I'm gonna do now, now this is normal crystal radio this will work forever this is just no power or anything now if you want to add an amplifier all you do is move this down here and it should have gotten louder 
It's on low right now. So right now the amplifier is activated. Um, and you should be hearing it louder. I'm gonna tune it for you. There's five. Okay, so hopefully you heard something there. Now I'm gonna put the amplifier to high, and it should even be louder yet. Okay, so I'm gonna move this now. Now remember, you might get some distortion because it, if it's too loud. Uh, you notice I haven't put it to one because one is a really low frequency and it doesn't always work. You might, in your area, it might one might work, but um, it doesn't work here that often. Sometimes late at night it works fine. I get a station, I get a Hmong station. And you might even be able to hear the Hmong station on two sometimes right now. Maybe you hear it now. But again, this is high amplifier. Now I'm going to turn it to three. Now this is high amplifier. I'm going to go back down to low. That's low. And now we're going to go back to crystal radio. No amplifier at all. Again, now it's just normal crystal radio um, with no amplifier. And I'll go back to the amp. So hopefully you're hearing this. Um, when you're not using the radio, you want to leave the magnet up here in a crystal radius spot so it doesn't drain any power from the battery. And then it'll charge better too. So when you're not using the radio, always leave the magnet up into the crystal radio section so it doesn't use any power from the battery. And then it'll charge. It just needs light to charge. So. That's the crystal radio. Now, just in case um, you're not hearing anything, because I can't tell, I'm going to also hook up a uh, external amplifier. Now, I'm going to unplug this. You can get these external amplifiers anywhere. Um, I got this on a Goodwill, you know, for a buck, I think. And it's just an amplifier. Now, what it's made for, it's made for your phone. So you plug this amplifier into your phone. And then you can play your phone music and whatever. But I'm, I'm going to use it in the crystal radio just in case you couldn't hear that. So I'm going to plug this in. Turn it on. And you can hear it. Now I can hear it just fine. So I'm hoping you do too. So I'm going to adjust all this stuff here so you can see it a little better. All right. Now hopefully you can hear that. I can hear it. Now remember, this is just, this is the amplifier now. So this is a powered amplifier. It's got batteries in it. But the sound is coming out of the crystal radio. Now I'm going to, now just remember, this setting is just the crystal radio. There is no power being used. This is just power from the air, um, from the radio station. Okay, now I'm going to tune it. Because you know what they did was they put this fitting in there. Description is not at all accurate. Um, what it does makes permits to carry out. So rather they have to take a training class, AFB, AFB is sure. Let's see if you take it off completely, you hear nothing. It has to be on there to tune. And that's pretty loud right there. Now, I'm going to change it to the amplifier. Listen to the difference. The See the difference? It's much louder. So that's just crystal radio. 
And that's the amplifier. Now that's the low. Are you going to high? Much lower. Low. High. Amplifier. No amplifier. So I'll leave it on amp. And then we'll change the uh, frequency here. Like I said, it's got the hole, it goes right, here. Nothing. Okay, so now here's what we're going to do. It is, and it's all green, right? It's a constitutional right, then I guess we shouldn't infringe on it in special circumstances. Maybe the nature of a gun makes it. Now, again, you, you know, you're lucky to get one. You, you should get one station for sure. You'll get maybe two or three and if you're lucky you'll get more but I'm only going to guarantee this to get one station for sure in your area but you should be able to get two or three at night I get about four all right so here's my crystal radio that I built this is the inside I'm going to seal it but this is the inside right now you can see the coil that's the coil I built I built everything by hand I wound that coil myself and there's the circuit that I built down there and uh, that's the back and the inside so this is the back I just want to show you the inside and the back before I seal it